Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In today's video, we are going to talk about the watchOS 7.5 and should you update to this firmware on your watch or not. First of all, for people who are still confused, watchOS 7.5 is just for Apple Watch Series 3 and above. And talking about other things such as the number one thing that people were confused about is this pride watch face. This is a new watch face that is introduced on OS 7.5. And is this watch face available on series 3? The answer is no. This watch face is not available on series 3. I know this is bad that they did not add this on the series 3. It is just on series 4 and above. All watches with these S2S displays. And talking about this, this is the new watch face that have been introduced on this watch os firmware also what we can do with this watch os firmware is we can do it in circular and this looks pretty dope too like you can just rotate it also gives haptic feedback which is really darn good i really like this watch face and uh, same we can do with uh, this watch face like this this looks pretty darn sick this is the new watch face that people are talking about on watch os 7.5 version why this watch face is added because apple started selling two new watch bands uh, here you can see on the screen these are the new watch bands and along with that the apple also introduced these watch faces and these bands look really darn good what are your thoughts and opinion on these watch bands let me know down in comments below well another thing is that this update really did made my watch feel really good it really feels smooth and responsive obviously it early also did but after installing this update it really feels smooth and responsive whenever I use my watch as earlier but it is even more And if you better. are in Malaysia and Peru, what you can do is now finally have access to ECG sensor on the Apple Watch Series 4 and above. So finally you guys can use ECG if you are in Malaysia and Peru. Watch OS 7.5 is really optimized for Apple Watch and same goes for the battery life. The battery life by far have been the best battery life that I've ever got on any Watch OS firmware till now. This is the best firmware to be on in terms of battery life till now. Podcast app is also a bit more optimized than earlier. The animations feel smooth, performance feels really responsive on this version. Everything is really good on the watchOS 7.5. Okay about the storage, before updating my watch to this firmware, I had if I'll go in the settings. Here you can see here is my storage and uh, before updating to this firmware, I had available storage uh, 24 gigabytes and it do, it did took 200 MBs but in those 200 MBs it did give a lot of new advantages such as really good battery life that much it is just 200 MBs at the end of the day and for people using series 4 and above this does give new watch faces so it is worth installing this update that's pretty much it for this update if this video was helpful for you all consider subscribing to this channel because I do tend to make more videos like these and new watch OS watch OS 8 is coming up really soon I'm really hyped about it I will be posting a lot of videos soon about watch os so consider subscribing to the channel and like this video if it was helpful for you all have a great day thank you so much for spending some time today with me